I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Lucy? Yes? This is going to be my favorite closet confession. Why? Because it's the wardrobe tour. How I store, how I look after, probably the most requested film in the last few months. I have spent the entire weekend, apart from a trip down to Cornwall, which took 18 hours and we won't discuss, making this room a mecca of organization. Hey, this already was a mecca no, of organization. It what was... more do you have done? <laughs> Just to give it a bit of background here, I have collected clothes for 40 years, okay, and they're in this room, but they're also on three rails downstairs and on six cupboards downstairs. But what I've done is I've got up here everything I use, and I would say I use 90% of everything in this room and rotate and rotate. I have built up this collection because it's my sort of, you know, my life's work um, in terms of all the jobs I've done in, in what not to wear and things and the clothes I've collected. And I did sell a tremendous amount of my clothes, but I also have got a lot. You do have a lot, yeah. but I do know that you cherish them and you wear them and you look after them, so we are in yeah. the best place today. And whether you have a wardrobe, Lucy, that is literally one, you know, half a metre, or mm. whether you have access to building another little cupboard under the stairs or a place you can find some storage under the bed, it's going to be about the minute detail as well. So it doesn't matter how big or small your accommodation is for your wardrobe, I'm going to hopefully give you some tips and hints that are going to help. But before we start, haha, -ha, yes. I want to know what you did with metallics, Lucy. Oh my god, I may have lost my mind, but I'm in love, and I just I need your honest opinion because okay. I haven't taken the tag out yet. Okay? All right, they're from Zara, and they are these, oh my god. these green leggings. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm de I'm sucked in like Sandra D. <laughs> they're just fabulous. They're mad. The colour is divine. And I think you can do it. And I think you could do it with a big slouchy blazer and a white trainer as well. At the moment, you, yeah. you've got a heel on. I've got a heel on, yeah. Oh my God, Lucy. Oh my God, Lucy. <sighs> There's somebody else in the room I'm going to show these to, by the way, because okay. Louise, who works at Trini London, has kindly agreed to film today because you're gonna go round. So there's Louise. Hello. Hello, Hi, darling. Louise. Look at her leggings. Oh, love them. We're in heaven. We're in heaven. So, my darling, um, well done. Any any makeup that you thought about for that? I did. I have got on very simply fortune on my eyes because I I just felt I know they're cool, but I felt like the gold would be nice with the green. Because that tealness brings warmth, and a lot of women who wear teal are warm. So fortune is beautiful with it. Okay, so I got that right, and then I've got Sha Sha on my lips and cheeks. Divine. Well, before I start, because I'm not going to be putting so many clothes on today, I'm wearing a Gucci shirt I got in the sale 90% off in either Selfridges or Harvey Nichols. Uh, my favourite corn club blue. And then I'm wearing Dahlia on my lips and my cheeks, but a wash of it. And over it, I've got a tiny bit of bunny. And on my eyes, I've got chalice with a little hint of Dahlia in the corner. Are we ready? I'm going to hand over now this camera to Louise. How I work it now, I used to have a really big rail here but I wanted to really just put things where they belong. So I like to have a rail here, which is stuff I've bought or things that I'm beginning to collect for an idea. So this is my wrong and rights for the arm lengths, which I'm gonna do with you ladies um, quite soon, but I need to find more wrong things. This is a few new things I've bought. I might do this with Friday or Twinning with Chloe. It's a Zara dress. Um, and then spare hangers, that's that. Underneath are usually my shoes. And everywhere around in this room, I have my sort of mementos from my life because this is where I spend most of my day. So over here, just to give you a little mementos, um, Kate, the um, cheekbone lady, she makes lovely sculptures and pottery, for Katie Brain, and that's hers. This is um, Lila and her half brother, Zach, and Zach's mum, Millie, and me. We are a bit of a blended family and dogs as well. Um, this is one of Lila's rather macabre pictures, but I keep it here. This is my old agent, Michael Foster, and we always joke that he could suck my breast because the height difference, and I love him, and he's been phenomenal in my life. So I like to have a memory of him. This Lila made when I launched Trini London, look. Look at that, I mean, how sweet is that, Lucy, look. And that little revolving, look, she put her lipstick on, <laughs> but she had the pots there, and I just, I love that. That's a really Zandy, the foundation, which is Zandy. That's her, one of my oldest friends. So I just like everywhere to have that, like we all do those mementos. So now, 
Cover number one. These are two cupboards, Lucy, you have not seen yet. I never had a skirt cupboard, Lucy, but this is a yeah. skirt and sequin jackets and hats. Now, what I did is I had the room to buy some hangers and I buy them from more plan these rails they're not very expensive this is their two foot rail and then i buy the big ones and if you have anywhere like a basement in a house to hang stuff you don't wear and put it in zip ups because then what's happened now is it has breathing space now somebody might have a cupboard which is just this so you want to think about your hangers and i think hangers are a really important thing if you have very little space I love these hangers, they're huggable hangers, but what's good compared to a wire hanger, because a wire hanger is an enemy of any piece of clothing because it doesn't let it hang beautifully. And there's a little velvet to this, so they hang really well and you can put a lot in your wardrobe. But if you put too, too much, things will get creased, whatever. So I like to put jackets, whether they're from Zara, like that, um, a very old friend that we love, 59 pounds or they're from willow which is a lovely australian brand one of my favorite jackets they should get to me equal treasuring because how i look after them is doesn't depend on how much they cost me it depends on how cherished they are to contribute to my wardrobe. And I think that's a very important way to look at clothes because then you take literally a 15 pound blouse and it has as much cherishability as the Gucci <laughs> sale one. Um, I've got my skirts here and I think for me, I love these hangers and there's some I love more than others, but these hangers are very good. They're just the snap ones because they don't fight. The ones with the clips, I feel I'm pulling out and they get all caught up. So I like the smoothness so that they can sit next to each other and be easy to pull in and out. These are simple things. You know, when we're rushing, we pull out and everything falls and then it's creased at the bottom yeah. of your cupboard. So that's kind of what I do. Why do you buy those? I buy those yeah. in John Lewis and I buy them in sets of six. I think you can buy them online. I prefer them to the more thicker ones because they take up more space, the shorter ones, which are fatter. But there are yeah. some also, when you have velvet trousers, that have felt on the inside. And if you don't want it to have imprinting onto the velvet, then the ones with the, with the sort of felt on the inside are brilliant. I mean, I always store hats like that because I store them crown on crown. And hats, you know, you can buy a hat for the summer and love it. And by the next summer, it's a squidgy thing in the back of your cupboard. So, you know, if you've spent a bit of money on hats and that's like accessorized 19 pounds in Spain this summer, like 80 pounds, um, H&M, you know, my big one, um, Melissa Odebash, they're a whole mixture, but I want to treat them all equally. So that way for me, that little tower of hats works really well. Question, do yeah. you hang all of the items facing a certain way? I do. I mean, I remember with Holly that she said, you know, hang it the wrong way round because then if you don't pull it out, you'll know you haven't worn it. Lovely idea, but tremendously frustrating. So I always hang the same way, you know, and always, I mean, I'm so anal that I just always make them straight when I hang them. Oh dear. The thing is, this is also what I do, sorry. So here's the cupboard. So I want the jackets to face this way because that's the way I'll mostly be in the cupboard. So this is yeah. like sequin suits and that's sequin jackets. There's a random bag up there because I don't know where to put it yet. Here, knickers, let's talk knickers. So this is my knicker drawer. That's it, all right. And what I did is I really, I, we've got a pure knicker drawer well, um, closet confessions you're very welcome to watch but i cut my knicker drawer from three drawers to this and i buy my favorite pair of knickers are uh, from wackhole and they're just like nothingness they never ever show and they're my skin tone they don't have enough different skin tones but they're brilliant and i just fold them like that and then my bras are either bodice and bodice do these non-wire bras and they're all different skin tones. That was when I used to be really tanned, but I hardly ever wear it. Um, and then I've got that sort of neutral one, which is just really easy. I love, this is only for small breasted women, otherwise big breasted women, Freya is an amazing brand. But Kos every year do these incredibly pretty little bras. And although you think I never wear a bra, I do occasionally wear bras, especially when something's going to give such side cleavage that I need some protection. And then I have my newest acquisition, which is that weird kind of thing I've been showing off in recently, which are these very unattractive big pants, but it enables you and I to do quick changes. And they're from Zara. 
and they come with a bra top. And I just didn't realize how much I would use them, but they're so convenient. I do have two pairs of banks. One is in the wash. They're generally called these ones, high-waisted shorts. This is a simpler one. It's like, it's probably about 40 quid, but they last forever. This is different slips. And I know slips are a weird thing, but you're always going to buy a dress and it will have a horrible slip inside. So I cut out the slips. And this is the thing I had made by S. Susanna, but this is this weird fabric. It's like Missoni lining actually, but it's like a tight fabric. You can buy it in any haberdashery. And if you just literally make one for your shape, then when you have those lovely white summer dresses or broderie anglaise dresses, you just cut out that horrible white lining and you do this and the dress will look twice the price. That's that covered. A few new skirts. I don't know how many of you followed my stories, but I'm gonna just show you. I did get that Prada skirt um, oh. and I love it, but it didn't have pockets. So I got S. Susanna to make a pocket for me and she found the same fabric and she went along the line of the seam. It just needed a pocket. And then do you remember the Alice and Olivia full length skirt? Which yes. is just mad. I made it the same length because I bought that and I thought in winter with brogues and brown tights. And then I thought I'll wear it a lot more if it's kind of, you know, maxi length, but not just ankle length. So for me, like with these, I like to do dark to light and then gold yeah. and silver. So I've done dark to light. And then here I've just done, this is not perfection, but I've done plain and then pattern. Yeah. Okay. So I, I like that because I also love to open a cupboard and just feel inspired by what's inside it. So, you know, let's yeah. say you just have three skirts and, and five pairs of trousers and a jacket. Just grading it just makes you feel far more inspired to see what to wear. So Lizzie, this is a new cupboard. I didn't realize, I mean, you know, I love sequin, all right. And so I put all my sequin dresses together. They were all around and I put them all together. And this is, this is my sequin dress cupboard. Were you surprised when you put them together that you had that many or did you? Think? I mean, like, because also they were on very thin hangers. So they were like hidden behind things. And every single one I cherish and every single one I will have until I'm in my grave. So one of my very favorites, is this one, which is my highlighter sequin dress from Zara. I wear in the winter with this orange coat or the green coat. And it's those days, Lucy, we talked about when I'm feeling so like, oh, flat, I will put that on and it will bring me joy. And I'll wear a little white collar to diffuse it. This doesn't quite count. This is the most expensive thing in my wardrobe, bar one other thing. And this I got for my birthday last year in the sale. And it's a Celine dress, which has a cape attached to it. Your arm comes out there and there's the cape and I belt it. And it's just the kind of thing that when I'm 80 and I want to be an elegant older lady, I'll just feel, I mean, that's investment dressing on steroids to me. I love it. Another thing I got is I found that dress that you remember the one I couldn't do up and I couldn't bend my arms. And then I bought the size up and I had it taken in. I can't Amazing. wait to wear it. So I love that. When are you going to wear it? I'm just going to wear it in the office, you know, with, with trainers. Things like this, everything in this cupboard, bar two or three things, I want to be able to wear in the day. Because otherwise, yeah. you know, why invest in some beautiful piece if you can't make it very versatile in your wardrobe? So it's, I'm always thinking, how can I dress things down? So this is... One of my best buys this year from Zara. This is the one Chloe and I did our Friday twinning. And it's just this beautiful gold dress. And in the winter, I'll wear it with a cream coat. I don't know if I'll wear a chocolate brown coat. If I have a gold coat, I'd wear it with... I have an idea now for winter. Oh, I can't wait to style that up. But this, this I'll wear with brown suede flat boots, you know, and, yeah. and something like that. And like a jumper over it and then wear it like just for the skirt. So things like that, so vast, dressing it up or down. I did also get... Oh, you did? I got it from Harvey Nichols, 90% off Galvin. I love Galvin, it's one of my favorite brands. Just does the best sequins. I just know I'll wear it, it's my shape, it's that razor back. I won't be able to wear this forever, but when I'm, when I'm sort of going down the path of life, I could do a white shirt underneath and a jacket. 
Yeah, I was going to say, you, that's, the, that's the key, isn't it, is to put a sleeve with it. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't actually mention life without mentioning Alice Templey because I bought her very oh. first collection in, 2000, in 19, maybe 98, 99. And my last thing, one of my favourite things, which you've all seen, is that blue top, which is one of your favourite things, Lucy. And I've worn that yeah. to death, cost per wear is a pound, with a matching skirt. Yeah. And then I've also just got, um, I got that at the beginning of the summer, which I haven't worn yet. Oh. So this is what I do with my summer wardrobe, is like caftans I'll fold and put here. Um, I've got bits of fabric here that I might use and make into something one day. I've got jumpsuits that just are a soft little fabric and they fold. This is one of my first long dresses I ever bought and I'm saving it for Lila, so that's gonna actually go somewhere else. And that's sarongs. This is caftans, sarongs, and just things for the beach. So they kind of stay like that. And then when I'm going on holiday, I just know exactly where it is and it's kind of, you know, this could be something under your bed and you could just be putting it, you know, neatly, but it's just about folding summer away. So when you bring it out again, you don't think, oh my God, it needs a whole new life put into it. These are from Muji and I love these. They're in their stationery department, but like I put all of my Eros bikinis in these and I just think the bikinis, you know, that's another thing that you wear them. Did you wash them properly when you got back? Is there a bit of salt still left in them? You bring them out next summer and they're a bit hard and crusty. So it's about, you know, yeah. coming back from holiday, really washing them well, hand washing them if you've got a nice bikini and then putting them in little plastic things. And so I just have, you know, bikinis there that I've used. And so my bikinis really last because bikinis you can spend, you buy a Topshop bikini or a Henny's bikini, which I have lots, but they can wear away. And it, when you invest in a bikini or a swimsuit, really look after it and it will last a few years okay now you know i love a cord and i have in my bedroom downstairs i have a, a couple of cupboards so my cords were slightly living all over the place but for the first time this weekend i put them all together these are my serena butte cords oh my goodness I know. and just they are my biggest investment she gives me 30% off, which is very nice for her. I went to school with her. When I was 11, she was 14 at the same school. She was a really good friend of my sister's. I bought them full price for ages, and then last year she gave me 30% off, which is very nice. I have the wide ones and the narrow ones, and I put the trousers, which are very wide, just like that, and fold them. And this is why I, we did this one, Lucy, because like, this is really squidgy, and they just, I'd have to press them every time that I took them out. So I decided I wear these every other day. So let me just give them the best place to hang well. You know, so yeah. whatever you use a lot, give that the most space. These are my patterned ones now. So I did actually, I did get that one from Zimmerman, which some of you might oh. see on my stories. And I did get the leopard in the green. You know, these are things I will wear forever. These are all trouser suits. I go from kind of like the Zara blue one, which you all loved. And with this, this is interesting what I've done because the trousers are $29.99. The jacket was a little bit small. So I did that little thing here of putting in a little bit of extra fabric, which yeah. was on the inside of this. And even though it's Zara, to me, I'd rather spend the extra 40 pounds making it the most beautiful shaped suit for me. Um, and then I bought two pairs of trousers because one is full length, which I wear with a heel, and one is cropped. And I like those two looks. What I don't like is the one that just hits my shoe. There's H&M, Derek Lamb, ASOS, Zara, Zara, Amanda Wakely, that's the new orange one I bought, Zara, 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 H&M, um, me and M, Zara, Serena Butte, Chloe, H&M, and I don't know where from. Okay, yeah. coats, I do coats in color. And this, this kept me going during COVID. You know, I did this over a weekend at the beginning of COVID and it is a backdrop for people. And some people who watch my films a lot will notice they change a bit depending. 
this, you know, I'll either have the pale when I want a calm day or I'll have the bright. It was my sort of homage to the NHS to have the rainbow. I've got at the top of my bags. I think you want to be very careful if you have a house which has a lot of dust because keeping bags out when you have dust is not a good idea. But if you have bags that are, that are bags you've saved up and love and they're always in casing, you forget what you have. Like I always forget, still forget, because in the box, what do I always forget? Yellow Chanel. The yellow Chanel bag, which is not here because it's fabric and I wouldn't want fabric out. But these are a mixture, that's Zara, you know, that's Prada I got at Vestiaire Collective, Saint Laurent Prada. This is of oh, BB by Townsley. I yes. just bought this bag. And can I say, I just want to give a shout out because they make the nicest vegan handbags ever. And I just got this. They're so beautifully made, these bags. And you know, if you are a businesswoman, to me that chic gray bag, perfect bag, and I've got another little surprise for you in a second. Really old Chanel, I probably should keep it better, but I just, and then color and brightness. Okay, belts. So belts are really important to me. And I, again, I got these Muji drawers here and lots of people don't utilize underneath, you know, they might have shelves underneath their wardrobe, but I think it's much better to have these drawers. So inside again, I have another Muji within it. And these were all my little thin belts and my little kind of scarf things, which were belts, but I use around my neck. And then here I have bigger belts, but I do sort of gold to silver and thick ones at the back. And then underneath here, I have my Essentials Antwerp, that lovely DBF one I love. Some old vintage ones. I love collecting vintage belts like this one. This is a really, really old Givenchy. I mean, I don't think I still fit it, but I think for Lila. But that will, you know, belts never, ever go out of fashion, ever. So really worth it if you see them in vintage shops, in Zara, you know, like I just got my latest one from Zara, is this one, 15 pounds. And although I hardly ever wear thin belts, the other day, it was just the perfect thing I needed to go over something. And I didn't want to wear jewelry, but it just broke up a pattern very well. So even if you feel you don't have a waist, sometimes you can get a belt. I think if you're a curvy woman and you feel that you're short-waisted and long-bodied. There are lots of belts where they're stretchy here, but it gives space to breathe. And so you get the flow of your body going down, but you still get a bit of winching on the side. So they just change clothes. They bring outfits to life. Summer shoes, I put like this, they're flat, and I do them back to back like that. Oh! So, yeah, just to keep them all there, because then in the wardrobe, summer shoes can get really trashed. Three of my favorite bags, this is my Zara one. I, I use this every other day. Dr. Seabag sent me some products and he put them in that. Um, that was just so sweet, I love this. And this is a 20 year old Prada bag, which is the print of the skirt I bought. And it just shows that they reintroduce prints. When you have fabric bags, do put something inside them. So I've actually put a scarf in here I don't wear often but it's just the right amount. Otherwise you can get that bubble paper, you know, the bubble wrap, but yeah. it just keeps the shape of the fabric. I usually know the age of my bags because I do this with my product bags, is that when I buy them, I do a picture of Lila of that year on my bags. So I kind of generally know when I bought them. That's so sweet. Yeah. I think when a lot of people say, how do you keep your clothes so well? It is the fact that I rotate them a lot. But if you have a wardrobe, whether it's just this, and every single piece you wear, you will rotate it beautifully as well. And it's just about having in your wardrobe only what you wear, and because I change twice a day, and I love, love, love clothes, I, I wear everything. Now, everything in this room, I know I wear, which is divine. During the beginning of COVID, we all looked in our wardrobes. Have a second look now. You know, what do you really love, and what do you not? Do a bit of Kwando, but just, think will I ever and then the nice thing is to take it out of the space in which you use your wardrobe somewhere else in your flat or house even if it's a tiny little rail like that squidge on it what you're not wearing and then think do you ever go back to that rail and if you don't go back to that rail for a bit sell it or give it to friends or do a swap you know that's another thing I think we mentioned in the Trini tribe if you're a member of Trini tribe I'd suggested just maybe all do a zoom call and say I've got this it's in this condition who wants to swap and work out swapping because, you know, we don't want to build clothing mountains. I still buy from high street shops because I think they're accessible, but I want to buy things that I know I'll keep.
and that's yeah. that's a resounding message however much space you've got Lucy it's about treasuring the clothes you have and it's about getting rid of the clothes that you do not treasure you don't respect they don't love you back you know and then when you surround yourself whether it's this big or that big or that big of space with your clothes that you love you will enjoy dressing that much more darling well, thank you so much have a great weekend lucy you too bye bye